Alright, what's up good people? It's your boy J Russ. We are back again with another video. Guys, it is April the 23rd. Uh, it is currently 7.50. Uh, we are at Ford Air in Forest Park, Georgia. And we're picking up another load. Today's Tuesday. This is our third load this week so far. Uh, we are headed to Fort Stewart. And uh, yeah, we're going to an army base, man, which is pretty dope. Uh, pickup time is at 8 o'clock. I've been here about uh, five minutes now. I got here about 7.45. Uh, just cleaning out the van, making sure everything's ready for them to load me up. I'm about to go inside, get this paperwork, get loaded up so we can hit the road, man. I did have to dead hit 130 miles back home from uh, Grovetown, Georgia. Didn't get home to about 2.15 this morning. Was back up by 6.30 this morning. And here by 7.45. Every day we rustling, baby. Let's get it. back when the second one comes. good people uh we are back it is 10 20 um yeah pickup time was at eight o'clock uh it took an hour and a half uh for them to find the billing number or get the billing number not find it but get the billing number from the customer uh because uh forward air would not uh load me up until they had that billing number uh, then it actually took some time for them to actually find the two pieces that I have. First things first, man, I would have to say in order to be successful in this business, man, you have to be patient. Um, you have to be okay with, you know, sitting, waiting patiently. You still have to be nice to these people when you talk to them. I mean, the guy that I, I talked to first, you know, he told me I needed the billing number. Or, or he couldn't help me and he sat there and watched me wait for an hour and a half and then once I got the billing number he was like ah yeah nah, you're supposed to go down to the other end and just walked away and I just had to be like ah you know alright thank you I appreciate it and going about my day man like in the end it's all about business but uh yeah patience man you gotta have patience I waited basically two and a half hours. I just got loaded up, but the address on here doesn't match the address on the app. So <laughs> I still gotta wait some more. So uh, dispatch is confirming what location I'm supposed to go to. And then once she calls me back, we'll finally hit the road. All right, guys, dispatch just called me. Yeah, the company is like super slow with getting back um, I think it was 
10 20 it's 10 40 now so 20 minutes went by they still haven't gave us a confirmation of the correct address but i've officially been sitting here for well actually i got here at 7 45 so uh it's officially been uh three hours Yo guys, hey man, please don't judge me right here. As you can see from the video, man, I'm pretty frustrated and I'm upset that uh, I end up being late to this drop off. And as you can see, uh, this sign right here says, please do not proceed until waved forward. And uh, yeah, as you can see, your boy didn't stop. I'm upset. So I get here and thank God that I did stop right here because the officer came out and informed me that they thought that I was about to basically bomb rush the uh, army base and that they were getting ready to put me down. Thank God the video didn't stop here. <laughs> they didn't have to put me down, man, but they did have to check my van. They looked underneath, make sure there was no bombs. I had to open every door. And yeah, it was it was a crazy experience, man. But hey, let's get back to the video. Whew, they didn't put me down. Yo, hey man, we finally got unloaded, man. About time. Uh, I want to give a shout out to everybody at Fort Stewart, man. I appreciate you guys uh, helping me out and unloading me, even though I was uh, pretty much 30 minutes late. Um, but, you know, man, overall, man, it was a great experience for me. Uh, I enjoyed it. It was stressful. Yes, the word of the day was patience. Did I lose a lot of patience at the end? Yes, I did. I wasn't as patient as I should have been. But uh, overall, man, I enjoyed it. Uh, you know, having to wait three hours uh, before I could get loaded up and hit the road, yet I still had to make it on the original drop-off time uh, was stressful. 
And then not to mention, you know, me not having the correct VOL and them having to send me an email and me having to detour, go to uh, Office Max in uh, Dublin, Georgia. Uh, going to Office Max and having to print out the new BOL and hopping back on the road and you know, it was just stressful, but overall man, I, I enjoyed it um, It was a great experience and I think it made good good content man um, There's a subway across the street. I think I'm gonna go get a sub and Relax for a little bit. I am still available, but uh, if I don't get anything Probably within the next hour or two, uh, I'm just gonna start deadheading home, man. Uh, it's a part of the business. You're gonna have to deadhead eventually. It is what it is. And uh, yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time. <laughs>Yo, man, so let's do a quick recap. As you can see, man, I drove a total of 359 miles. Uh, that also included 130 miles of deadhead. Uh, the loaded miles was really about 221. Uh, as you can see, the gross pay was $435.90, minus the $95.90 for the carrier company, and that brought the total for J&K to $340. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Every day I'm rustling, every day I'm rustling, every day I'm rustling, every day I'm rustling.